Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to talk to you a little bit about Assault on Precinct 13. Now, I have not seen the original 1970s John Carpenter film, which I should probably fix at some point. Um, but this film is still uh, somewhat significant to me because back in the days of what was called VHS, <laughs> um, this is one my family and I had at our, you know, of course, at our house. Um, and... It was one we watched uh, semi-frequently. I remember watching it together with my brother and dad and everything. Um, I, I do believe we were popping a few times on my own. Um, even this you know, thing with my cousins where we, we would pick what character we are and sort of engage with movies that way. Um, but anyway, I did want to talk about this one and revisit it because I hadn't seen it since then. Um, as well as uh, Ethan Hawke, Ethan Hawke's character, or an actor, excuse me, that I've always liked. Um, but I wanted to be more of a fan of than I am. Um, and this is sort of my way of, uh, you know, getting back to him a bit. And uh, just seeing how much I, I can get into him. And I'm happy to say, it seems to have uh, worked out. Um, he's always been a commendable actor to me, but seeing him in a movie like this, that I think is a really well-rounded and enjoyable movie, has helped... Uh, you know, sort of that, uh, you know, process with me to start. Uh, this is not directed by John Carpenter like the original, but I do think without seeing the original, it does a good job of sort of having a bit of that atmosphere in it that Carpenter is known for. Um, you know, with the, with the winter kind of New Year's Eve setting, uh, you know, provides the automatic, you know, vibe to it. Um, and then, of course, them being holed up at what is going to be a shutdown and, you know, possibly demolished you know old building um it has that you know siege and you know walls closing and sort of vibe which is the type of movie or like even just scenario in a movie or a show that i'm always kind of a sucker for um ethan hawk is very good here a cop with a bit of uh you know trauma with having not you know made it with a couple of his old partners when he was you know a uh, certain ranking and everything and then he learns Fishburne is this big uh criminal they're having to keep there for the night they initially think it's uh you know some people for him are trying to get him out but it turns out to run deeper with roots in the uh you know with the police with what's going on um the action here is solid a lot of it is practically done um you have Maria Bello in here you have Drea Di Matteo who I've always been a big fan of and liked a lot um John Leguizamo, not to mention, ironically, the the sheriff in the uh, First Blood Rambo movie, Brian Dennehy, also has a significant role in The Blacklist, which is a show I am going to be talking about, uh, hopefully, before too long. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, I really enjoyed this one again, and it's definitely an a, a untalked about, kind of overlooked film, I think. Uh, the dynamic that develops between uh, Ethan Hawke's character, Jake, and uh, Fishburne's character, Bishop, I think is uh, really a dynamic that works. Uh, Fishburne really portrays, like, the intelligence of the character nicely and possibly some, like, you know, bit of depth to him for what it is. But the film always remains focused. It has a really, really nice, I think, even pacing to it. Um... And like I said, just the choice of the winter setting and just the scenario of the siege of it all. It, it provides like a really, really nice uh, sort of tension that I think uh, really, really aids the film and helps make it what it is. And, and yeah, I don't really know why it's uh, you know, so under-discussed. But I liked it a lot. And if I had to rate it, it would probably be... Yeah, I think a B plus, A minus, it's somewhere in there. No real issues with it. Um, there are some, you know, sort of choices that are made in terms of who makes it and who doesn't. I think we're both predictable, and then there's one that's a bit, oh, wow, they actually <laughs> they killed that character off. Um, so, you know, it does a good mix of the two. Uh, but, yeah, let me know you guys think about Solid Precinct 13. Should I finally check out the original? Uh, I'm not sure, because I was really, you know, always drawn to the cast of this movie. But, uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, here, of course, and Instagram.